This is our International coming to you live from Moscow. I'm Marina Joshi. Now, Western sanctions against Russia are officially at least a reaction to the crisis in Ukraine. But Vladimir Putin thinks that conflict is merely being used as an excuse to target Moscow. That was one of the key messages from his annual State of the Nation address. Artis Murad Gizdiev was in the Kremlin listening in. The president started by acknowledging that these are hard times for Russia and central to that are the, uh, is the crisis in Ukraine, the civil war in the east, uh, the events in Crimea, which have all helped dig a trench between Russia uh, and the West. And there's all sorts of friction now, political, uh, economic and sanctions. Sanctions, by the way, uh, which Vladimir Putin says were coming anyway and Ukraine proved a convenient excuse. Speaking of sanctions, it's not just a nervous reaction of the U.S. and their allies to our position on the coup in Ukraine or even the so-called Crimean Spring. I'm sure that even if this did not happen, they would come up with another excuse to hold back Russia, to influence Russia, to use it in their own interests. Vladimir Putin uh, also said that whenever Russia grows strong, whenever it grows powerful enough to stand up for its own interests, invariably the same tactic comes into play where the West tries to contain Russia, to weaken it, and uh, sometimes directly interfering in internal Russia's affairs or meddling in relations between Russia and its neighbors. Always influence our relationship with our neighbors, direct or off the stage. Sometimes you don't know whom it's better to talk to, to governments or the countries, or directly to their American patrons and sponsors. And the lesson that we must learn from all of this, Vladimir Putin says, is less reliance on the West, less reliance on imports and more dependence on domestic production, on uh, domestic businesses. And the president actually uh, listed a whole, uh, a whole list of different measures that they're going to take to help small and uh, medium-sized businesses in Russia flourish. I propose fixing the current tax conditions for the next four years and not to come back to this question and not change them. Along with it, it's necessary to realize the decisions already made on alleviating the tax burden, above all for those who are just starting their work. As we have agreed, for small enterprises which register for the first time, a two-year tax relief will always be given. Also startups will get benefits. I also propose to launch a full amnesty for capitals returning to Moscow. I insist a full amnesty. After the State of the Nation address, I uh, managed to speak to Putin's spokesperson Dmitry Peskov and I asked him about a recent comment uh, made by President Barack Obama uh, that Russia is scaring the heck out of its Eastern European neighbors, uh, to which Dmitry replied that that is a comment unbefitting a major world leader of Barack Obama's caliber, almost a childish comment, in fact. Well, in our understanding, it's, it's well, this is too much, actually, this is too much. Uh, this attempt uh, to demonize Putin, uh, well, it's unfair, it's unfair play with, uh, with domestic public opinion. There is a growing demonization of Putin in Western media, especially like never before. Yeah. Uh, but is there such a thing as bad publicity? Because it is publicity after all, isn't it? Well, as a matter of fact, I don't think that Putin needs any publicity, whether it is bad or good. I mean, he's a he's a mm, uh, well, he's a president of Russia that is being actually loved by lots of people throughout the world in very different countries. And we know that we see the, the, the statistics from different countries. We, we see the, the, the media materials coming from different countries, and then people really love him. So all in all, uh, a very ambitious uh, speech, very ambitious plans. And uh, President uh, Putin called on people to stay united if Russia is to achieve these difficult goals. Well, here's a quick recap of what the Russian head of state had to say. Putin believes that even without the crisis in eastern Ukraine, the West would simply have found another reason to punish Russia. He also said that the policy of containment is the usual method used by Western powers to weaken Russia's independence. On the economy, the Russian leader promised pro-business reforms, a crackdown on corruption and improved economic efficiency.